Good day folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. I would like to thank all the subscribers and those who are new in my channel. Please make sure you watch my videos, um, all of them, and please subscribe to my channel and like all my videos, download and share. Okay, good day guys. This is the lesson about the pH calculation. Um, a pH calculation, it's a method of determining the alkalinity of a solution or an acidity of the solution. Now, the pH of a solution is defined as a negative of the logarithm of its hydronium concentration. Now, if you look at the formula of the concentration of the pH, when you calculate the pH, it says pH is equal to negative log um, of concentration of hydronium ion. Now, that's the way of calculating the alkalinity and the acidity of the solution. The word pH, it means the potency of hydrogen. Let's look at the pure water in a neutral state. The concentration of the hydronium ion of the pure water is going to be 1, ti one times 10 to the power negative 7. So, when you calculate the pH of that, you use the formula pH is equal to negative log um, concentration of hydronium. And then in the place of the concentration of hydronium, you substitute the concentration value, which is 1 times 10 to the power negative 7. And then when you punch that in the calculator, you get 7 without units. The pH is without units. Let's look at this formula that says POH is equal to negative log and the concentration of OH minus. This formula you use it when you are given a base and you have a concentration of OH there. Let's say if they want you to calculate the pH. So you can first find the POH using the, the concentration of OH. Once you get the POH, you can go to this formula that says POH plus pH is equal to 14. This formula is not in the curriculum and it's not in the data sheet, but it's very useful. And you can use it to determine the, the pH of the base. Let's look at an example of calculating the pH while well, given the concentration. Um, the question it says, calculate the pH of 0.2 mole per dm3 of nitric acid solution. Now, calculating the pH, you must find the concentration of the hydronium. Which is the hydronium? Uh, it's the conjugate. Um, it's a conjugate acid um, of the base when the acid is dissolved in water. Let's cut the chase. Um, the concentration of nitric acid you dissolve in water, and when you dissolve it in water, the proton is going to be donated there. So you have an NO3 minus plus the hydronium ion. Now the concentration that we have, the 0 0.2 mole per dm3, is the concentration of the nitric acid. Now we want the concentration of, um, of the hydronium ion. Remember the pH we're calculating um, by the concentration of that. Since the ratio between the two is 1 is to 1, so the concentration of nitric acid is to a concentration of hydronium ion. So since the ratio is 1 is to 1, so that means the concentration of nitric acid is going to be the same with the hydronium ion. So we can therefore say the concentration of hydronium is equal to 0 0.2 mole per cubic decimeter. Now we can say pH is equal to negative log and to concentration of hydronium ion. Negative log is, is 0 0.2. And then if we punch that in the calculator, it's going to be 0 0.699. So we can say it's 0 0.7. Remember the concentration. We do not have units for the concentration. Let's look at another example. Another example here. It says, calculate the pH of 0 0.25 of sulfuric acid solution. Now, what do you need to keep in mind? 
the ratio of a diprotic acid is not going to be one on one um, because um, when you ionize it in water, the concentration of the hydronium, they are not going to be the same. Let's look at it. Now, the, the, the ionization here is going to be a complete ionization. Let's dissolve this acid in water or let's ionize it in water. So what's going to happen? The, this acid will donate two protons in this water. So there needs to be two water molecules there. And then you have two hydronium ions and then the SO4 2 minus there. That equation is balanced. Now let's look at the concentration of the hydronium ion. So the ratio here is concentration of SO4 is to a concentration of hydronium ion. The ratio here is 1 is to 2. And then we are given the concentration of the sulfuric acid, which is 0 0.25. And then we put an unknown there, which is an X in the concentration of hydronium ion. And then we cross multiply here. So when we cross multiply, we'll have an X is equal to the concentration of hydronium ion, 2 times 0 0.25. Um, when we punch that in the calculator, it's going to be 0 0.5 mole per dm3. Now that we have the concentration of the hydronium ion, we can calculate the pH. pH is equal to negative log of concentration of hydronium. Negative log and the concentration at 0 0.5. So we'll say negative log 0 0.25 in the calculator. And the answer will be 0 0.3. Another calculation, which is question three, um, it says calculate the pH of 0 0.01 mole per dm3 of barium hydroxide, which is the base. Now, what we're going to do now in this one, we're going to utilize the formula that I've shown you. The formula that I said, it's not in the data sheet. So here, what are we going to do? We will dissociate this base in water. So dissociating this base in water, let's do it like this. When we dissociate this base in water, so it's going to be barium ion plus two hydronium ion. Let's see if it's balanced one, one and two, two, yep. Now, we are given the concentration of this. The concentration of barium hydroxide is 0 0.01 mole per dm3. And that's the concentration. So if we want the concentration of OH here, we can say we can do the ratio of concentration. The concentration of barium hydroxide is to the concentration of OH minus. So the ratio here is 1 is to 2. There's two there and there's one. So we'll put an X in the hydroxide and the concentration of barium hydroxide is 0 0.01. And then we cross multiply. So when we cross multiply here, we'll have an X, which is the concentration of hydroxide. Now when you punch that in the calculator, 0 0.01 times two, it's going to be 0 0.02 mole per dm3. Now having an OH, we can calculate um, we can calculate what we call it's a POH. POH because we have an hydroxide, we can calculate the POH and say POH is equal to negative log OH minus the so the negative log it's going to be 0 0.02. So when we punch this um, in the calculator, it's going to be 16989. I'm going to put it in four decimal places because we do not, um, we did not, um, I'm going to put it in two decimal places because we have not yet um, achieved the final answer. Now that we have the POH, we can go to the formula that says POH plus pH is equal to 14. You need to know this formula by heart because you are not given. So we do have the POH is 1,6987897 plus pH is equal to 14. So therefore, 
we have pH is equal to 14 minus 1.69897. So the answer here, it will be the pH is going to be what? 12.3. Alternatively, what we can do here, we can, now that we have the concentration of OH, we can use the auto-ionization of water. We can say the concentration of OH multiplied by the concentration of hydronium ion is equal to 1 times 10 to the power negative 14. This comes from the auto-ionization of water. So having that concentration, it's 0 0.02, 0 0.02. That's the concentration. So we want the concentration of hydronium ion so that we can calculate the pH. So we'll divide by the concentration of the hydroxide ion um, so that we can get the concentration of hydronium ion. Now we can punch that in the calculator. 1 times 10 to the power negative 14 divided by 0 0.02. So that will be 5 times 10 to the power negative 13 mole per dm3. So from that we can simply we can simply calculate the pH and say pH is equal to negative log um, hydronium ion negative log the hydronium ion is going to be 5 times 10 to the power negative 13 so negative log 5 times 10 to the power negative 13 the answer is still the same it's 12 comma 3 as you can see the value is greater um, which is uh, it's more than seven that means it's what it's basic oh, oh it's alkalinity so it's more basic another example here it says calculate the ph of 0 0.4 mole per dm3 of sodium hydroxide so calculating the ph of the sodium hydroxide which is the base it will be a value that is greater than seven which is it will be more basic now let's dissociate the sodium hydroxide in water so when we dissociate in water it will form the sodium ion and the hydronium ion now we want the concentration of oh minus first but we are given the 0 0.4 concentration of that and the ratio is one is to one so the concentration of the 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 hydroxide is going to be 0 0.4 now let's write it um, the concentration of sodium hydroxide is to a concentration of hydroxide ion since the ratio is 1 is to 1 it's going to be the same it's 0 0.4 therefore having the concentration of um, hydroxide ion we can calculate the POH POH is equal to negative log of concentration of hydroxide negative log of hydroxide we have 0 0.4 so when we punch that in the calculator it will be um, quickly negative log uh, negative log of 0 0.4 it's 0 0.39794 right now having the POH, we can go um, to that formula that says POH plus pH is equal to negative 14. So the value it's 0 0.39794 plus pH. So by this, we will want the pH, and then we'll transpose this into that side. We'll have pH is equal to 14 minus 0 0.39794. So minus that in the calculator. So the answer here, the pH, it will be 13.60. That's the pH. Do you see the pH is more basic? Now let's look at the alternative way. Let me write it in a red pen. Now that we have the concentration of OH, we can use the auto-ionization where the concentration of OH minus multiplied by the concentration of hydronium ion equal to 1 times 10 to the power negative 14 there. So we have the concentration of hydronium ion, um, the hydroxide ion, sorry. We are looking for the concentration of hydronium ion. Um, the concentration. So we, we divide by 0 
um, both sides um, so that we can have the concentration of hydronium ion. So 1 times 10 to the power negative 14 would divide by 0 0.4. The answer will be 2.5 times 10 to the power negative 14 mole per dm3. So having this concentration, we can calculate the pH now. The pH. So we'll say negative log is equal to 2,5 times 10 uh, to the power negative 14. So negative log um, into 2,5 times 10 to the power negative 14. It will be 13.6. You see, the pH of the sodium hydroxide is greater than 7. So it's more basic. Now this is the calculation where you are calculating the concentration of an acid or a base given the pH. Now we're doing an opposite way. Now the question it says calculate the concentration of an acid which is HCl with a pH of 4.5. Now guys when we are given a pH um, now you have to get to the concentration of that you have to do an anti-log. An anti-log um, you're using the pH formula, but you're doing an opposite way. Now, what are you going to do here? You have to say um, pH is equal to negative log of hydronium ion. Now, you want the concentration of hydronium. So, wanting the concentration of hydronium, um, you say concentration of hydronium ion is equal to um, 10, 10 to the power negative pH, which is, that's how you, you, you do the antilog from this formula. Concentration of hydronium is equal to 10 to the power negative pH. So you'll say 10 to the power negative 4.5. You punch that in the calculator, 10 to the power negative 4.5. The answer will be, which is the concentration of hydronium, it will be 3, comma, one six um one six two two seven seven um six six times ten to the power negative five mole per dm3 so with that concentration how are we going to find the concentration of hcr now this will take us to a formula of ionization um the ionization equation when we ionize water um, sorry, when we ionize um, the acid, which is the HCl in water, so the HCl is going to donate a proton there. So it's going to be hydronium ion plus Cl minus. All these are in aqueous state, guys. That's what you need to remember. So now we do have the concentration of the hydronium ion, but we want the concentration of what? Of HCl. Since the ratio is 1 is to 1, so if you say HCl, concentration of HCl, into a concentration of hydronium. The ratio is 1 is to 1 from that equation. So that simply means that, so if the concentration of hydronium is 3.16 um, times 10 to the power negative 5, that means the HCl it will be the same, times 10 to the power negative 5. Therefore, we can say the concentration of HCl is equal to 3.16 times 10 to the power negative 5, more per DM3.